Almighty Father, we want to listen to your word for this year. Wonderful. Wonderful. We make you happy, you will make us happy. You will make us happy this year. Speak to us, we are already excited. In Jesus' name we pray. You can sit down. The costly sacrifice of Jesus for humanity. The costly sacrifice of Jesus for humanity. Yes. We must remember this. In the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, from verse 23, there's something there the Lord says we should always remember. Verse 23, all through to verse 26. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given tongues, when he had given tongues, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's dead till he come. The sacrifice, the sacrifice of Jesus, the date of Jesus, we are to remember this often so that we don't forget. So we are so full of the good God, the good God, the good God, the goodness of God, the kindness of God, the blessings of God, that we forget that this, the goodness of God came from the suffering of the Lord Jesus. We forget sacrifice of Jesus. So, the Lord will want us to remember it. It is the sacrifice of Jesus that constituted Christianity. It is the sacrifice of Jesus that gave us fellowship with God. It is the sacrifice of Jesus that has sustained us up to this day. Many on earth have gone to heaven to be there permanently as citizens of heaven. It is because of the sacrifice of Jesus. The blessings of life come to us through the sacrifice of Jesus. The Bible says, God gave us his son. And it is through his son, the sacrifice of his son, that he is freely giving us all things. Therefore, remember the sacrifice of Jesus. In the book of John chapter 1. Verse 29 and 35. Of John chapter 1. Verse 29. The next day John said Jesus coming unto him. And said. Behold the lamp of God. Which taketh away the sin of the world. Verse 35. Again the next day. After John stood. And two of his disciples. And looking upon Jesus as he walked. He said. Behold the Lamb of God. That's talking about the sacrifice of Jesus. 
in the book of first corinthians chapter 5 first corinthians chapter 5 i read verse 7 the bible says patch out therefore the old living that ye may be a new lump as ye are unleavened, for even Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. The, the, the sacrifice of Jesus for humanity. Very costly sacrifice. In Revelation chapter 5, verse 9, sacrifice of Jesus. Very costly sacrifice. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. The sacrifice of Jesus was for the whole world. Whole world. So, I said it was a costly sacrifice. A costly sacrifice. The sacrifice of Jesus. In Isaiah chapter 53. Let's read. Verse 1. From verse 1 of Isaiah. Chapter 53. Yes. The Bible says, Who had believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He had no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. Let's see the following. The, the costly sacrifice of Christ. Number one, he left heaven, the headquarters of the universe, the sum of all beauty. He left his throne and glorious worship of, crea of all creatures and came down to the earth a place of darkness and doom. A place of pain and sorrow. He was despised and hated by men being God men did not recognize him men ill-treated him despised him this is the great God glorious it's painful but it's part of a sacrifice part of the sacrifice for human redemption for human salvation. He was acquainted with grief and sorrows. 
he lived his life constantly in pain. What pain? Pain because he was always seeing humanity being tortured by the devil. Every day he was seeing his creatures passing through the agony of Satan. Pain. It was like Moses in Egypt. When he saw an Egyptian oppressing an Israelite, it was in, he was in pain. So he was a man living in sorrow all the time. Seeing doom, seeing death, seeing decay upon his earth, seeing demons rejoicing over the spoil, over humanity, torturing them constantly. He felt the pain. He lived in sorrow. Apart from that, what about what humans did against him? The pain of his body. Pain of the great work he was doing. Yes. All the sorrows of mankind rested on him. He was wounded and bruised. Very often they took stone to stone him. The God of life. The creator God. They spat on his face. They slapped him on, the, slapped him on his cheek. A man acquainted with grief. A man of sorrow. All for the sin of humanity. Sacrifice. Costly. He was chastised with many stripes. He was oppressed. Even in judgment. The light over him. That was Jesus. Sacrifice of Jesus. In Philippians chapter 2. Costly sacrifice of Jesus. Philippians. Chapter 2, from verse 5. The Bible tells us, say, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, taught it not robbery to be equal with God. It's not an offense to behave like God on earth. It's not an offense to declare, I am God. No. It's not an offense. Verse, verse 7. But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. And was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death. Even the dead of the cross. Can you see? He was God. But just for sacrifice, he removed the glory of God and put it aside. And put on the nature of man. The nature of man. And he became a servant. Servant to God. And even servant to men. All because he would save mankind. And God appointed him. The, the cup of suffering. It was hard. You remember. The day he was to be arrested. Shortly before that, when he was praying in agony, and dr great drops of blood coming from him, a sweat because of agony. When he looked for people to help him pray for at least an hour, it was not easy. And all for mankind, the salvation of mankind. He humbled himself and became obedient and died the worst and most painful death, the date of the cross. The date of the cross. So, Jesus Christ has given us an example. Why did he come into this type of life? 
the beauty is great the glory of this sacrificial life is fantastic he is showing us that's what the bible says in first peter chapter 2 verse 21 first peter chapter 2 verse 21 it says for even here unto where ye called because christ also suffered for us leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps the best type of life is the life of sacrifice the best type of life is a life of sacrifice it's a life that you accept pain now for something good to follow it's a life of humility humiliation accept humiliation of yourself the reward of that type of life is great great accept to be little accept to be the least accept to bear it for others accept to serve others that is the, way, the life of greatness. And that is before us in this year. The Lord is reminding us so that our eyes will not turn away from that which actually characterizes the best life. Sacrifice. We should not forget it. Determination for costly sacri sacrifice. Ma. Jesus' sacrifice was costly. It involved himself. We are going to see how costly sacrifice was made in scripture. Let's remember the case of David who offered to God costly sacrifice in 2 Samuel chapter 24 2nd Samuel chapter 24 David offered to God costly sacrifice and he said I will not offer to my God that which cost me nothing I will not offer to my God that which cost me nothing Look at it in verse 21 to 25. And Arauna said, Wherefore is my lord the king come to his servant? And David said, To buy the threshing floor of thee, to build an altar unto the Lord, that the plague may, may be stayed from the, from the people. And Arauna said unto David, Let my lord the king Take and offer up what seemeth good unto, the, unto him. Behold, here be oxen for bond sacrifice, and threshing instruments, and other instruments of the oxen for wood. All these things did Arauna as a king give unto the king. And Arauna said unto king, the king, The Lord thy God accept thee. And the king said unto Arauna, Nay, but I will surely buy it of thee at a price. Neither will I offer burnt offerings unto the Lord my God of that which cost me nothing. So David bought the threshing floor and the oxen for 50 shekels of silver. And David built there an altar unto the Lord and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. So the Lord was entreated for the land and the plague was stayed from Israel. The story the Lord had commanded that the, 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 the census, census should not be taken over Israel. That was a command. But Satan moved David with pride. He wanted to know the number of people he was ruling over. So he called Joab and said, Joab, go and take a record. Take the census of the children of Israel. 
Joab said, "Uh uh-uh, God said, this should not be done. He said, go quickly and do it. And when that was done, the judgment of God fell on David. And the Lord told David, choose one of three things which I shall do unto you. Seven years of famine in the whole land of Israel or three months that I will allow your enemies come against the nation of Israel from various places and fight and deal with them for three months or three days pestilence in your land. David said, all right. Let God be the one to kill us. He will have mercy. Then, he said, I choose three days. Let God be the one to do it than to fall into our enemies. Or than we suffer seven years, I mean, suffer seven years of famine. Now, the angel of destruction began to kill the children of Israel. And when the angel stretched out his hand upon Jerusalem to destroy it, hey, it was a great slaughter that the angel began to do until the Lord became sympathetic. This, the, the angel stood at the threshing floor of Arauna, a field, a farmland of Arauna. And then, David was told by the prophet God, quickly go and offer sacrifice unto God in repentance. David went and met with Arauna and said, please. Arauna said, what are you coming for? I want to buy this field from you to offer sacrifice to the Lord so that this death that is passing by, I mean that is has come upon us should stop then around us are you going to buy take it free okay take the oxen the cow quickly go and sacrifice to the lord devil said no i will not sacrifice anything to my god that does not cost me nothing or that cost me nothing i will not offer sacrifice I am going to buy it of you. I buy the cow. I will buy the land. I will buy. So that I want to feel it. Sacrifice. I want to feel it. I'm telling you. And this is the life that saves. If David knew to go free. Look free. Cheap, 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 cheap may not save the people. Which means he doesn't feel it. The Lord may not accept the sacrifice. I'm at the offering because it didn't cost him. And he said, I will offer to the Lord costly sacrifice. And this is the year you have come into this spirit. This year before us is a year costly sacrifice because that this year the Lord is going to gallop with you this year the Lord is going to ascend high with you this year the Lord will open the windows of heaven and pour you down blessings but it is by sacrifice by sacrifice To stay the anger of God, offering must be given, not this cheap offering. I'm talking to you to come to church. Somebody else has to pay for you. To attend program, somebody else, somebody has to pay for you. You normally keep your money. And that is why your Christianity has not advanced. Because God knows. That you have not, you are not involved in the spiritual activity. It's not costing you anything. You have not given God anything for His work. 
you have not done anything in the name of the Lord that actually cost you anything, cost you something. You have not. And that is cheating your life. You are still a babe. What does a babe do to help the mother? What does a babe do to help the, the parents? What does a babe do to help the family? What does he do? So, you have been a babe. You have not been a mature Christian. But now, you will rise up. This year, you will serve God with cost. You will bring out yourself. If involved trekking, you will trek to the fellowship center. You will trek to, you will trek to the event place. And be there. You will sweat. This year, you will sweat for Jesus. I say you will sweat for Jesus. Hey, little thing, little heat. You say, Kai, <laughs> you're funny yourself. It's like a man. He came from, uh, maybe from America, yes, from America also. And landed in Yola Airport. It was, it was during, uh, it was hot time, hot season. The, it, the sun was very high in the sky. Scourging. He was busy fanning himself with his handkerchief. I said, ha! Ah, what is the federal government doing about this? You little thing, you are already touchy. You are not ready to take pain to serve the Lord. It doesn't cost you to serve the Lord. It shall cost you this year. I want you to say, it shall cost me to serve the Lord. All this cheap, cheap Christianity is over. It didn't give you victory over sin. It didn't give you victory over the devil. It didn't deliver you from sicknesses. You didn't know, you didn't know a life of fasting. Because no, 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 I must eat food. I must eat. Your Christian life is weak like that. But now you're jumping up. You're joining the generals to move for the Christianity of this life. Yes, you will say, I will not serve God in the way that it will be so cheap. Cheap, cheap things don't last. I say cheap things don't last. Everybody say it. Your cheap Christianity does not last. You hear? That is it. Costly sacrifice. That is what the Lord is saying. Your Bible, you can't buy a good Bible. Just because you cannot release money to buy a Bible. You cannot buy Christian materials because your money cannot buy it. You cannot travel to come, to come a distance to the presence of God. No, 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 no. That money is too big for you. That money would have built a new house. That money would have helped you to buy a car. That money would have helped you to do this and helped you to do that. And as a result, there you are dry. You are, you are spiritually empty. Thank God, the secret has come to you today. I say the secret has come to you today. How many of you will serve God will cost now? You, you, are, you will make it cost you. Whether it is cold, it is hot, it is what, you will serve the Lord. Thank you. That's a good determination. What, what about Paul? Paul, in the book of Philippians chapter 3, Philippians chapter 3. I'm telling you how to serve this Jesus and know him. Serve Jesus and let him know you. Let him recognize that you're serving him. Philippians chapter 3, chapter 3, verse 6 to verse 9. The scripture says. Concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the, in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ. Businessman, Christmas time is money. Easter time is money. Program time is money. Because you will not want to lose your business. 
Paul said, I counted those things as loss. It's costly to me. The business gains of that period, I counted loss for Christ. I count the business gains. The gains I would have had during that period when people go to appear before the Lord that I used not to appear because I said, ah, I'm losing. I have money. Oh, in fact, a creditor was to come to me and to do what and to do what. I, I, now, in fact, uh, if I go now, I will miss much money. That is the thought of a, is it, do I call a child or a stranger to Christ that has not known the value of Jesus? Paul said, but what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ. Yeah, doubtless. And I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung that I might win Christ. Be ready to lose things this year for Jesus. Be ready to lose job, money, opportunities, whatever for Jesus Christ. That is the Christianity that has reward. Because God wants to remember you this year. God wants to do something special for you this year. And the shortest way to it is the way of sacrifice. To make it sure and steadfast is the way of sacrifice. That is it. But why are you not accepting sacrifice? Why are you not doing it? Why are you not giving much money to God in offering in the church? Why don't you think it? Ah, no, 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 no. I don't want to give it because I want to use this for this. Why not sacrifice that? Why not give God that which will cost you? Will cost you. Will cost you. Many of you are not able to hear the voice of God and do it because of the cost. Ah, it's not God that told me to do it. No, no, no. That voice is not from God. Because you are, run, you are running away from the coast. Paul said, And be found in him not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is true, the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. I count all things but loss. Don't hold to anything. Be ready to let go. Then you are ready to come in. You are ready to, bring, to let God come in. Because this God is a God that honors sacrifice. We must learn this costly sacrifice. And determine to do this. For the salvation of your life. You must be ready to do this. Look at it in Mark chapter 9. Verse 43 to 48 mark chapter 9 verse 43 the bible tells us here saying and if thy hand offend thee cut it off sacrifice it is better for thee to enter into life meant than having two hands to go into hell into the fire that never shall be quenched where their womb died not and the fire is not quenched and if thy food offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter halt into life than having two feet to be cast into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched, where their womb dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. And if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out. It is better for thee to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. Where their womb died not, and the fire is not quenched. Can you see? For your salvation, there are some things you need to cut off. Sacrifice them. It gives you pleasure. Sacrifice the pleasure of the flesh. Sacrifice the pleasure of friendship. You enjoy that friendship, but it's not allowing you to come to Christ. It's not allowing you to serve your God. Sacrifice. Lose it. Count it but loss. Count that man. Count that woman. Count that thing. Count that job that is not allowing you to serve God. Sacrifice it. 
day you are asking God to lift you up, to take you to the destination he has for you. If your right eye is keeping you from knowing Jesus, serving Jesus, believing in Jesus, following Jesus, pluck it out. Pluck it. The way of sacrifice. You cannot do it. There are some things you do. There are places you go that keep you worldly. You are worldly. You are fleshly. Cut off those things for spirituality. That is what the Lord is saying. If you do, he will shoot you forward spiritually. Because those things have been the one hindering your life. Those things are the ones making you stagnant. Those things are the ones, are the ones pre preventing your salvation. Preventing them. Cut off those charms. Throw them away. And, and, and see, are you going to die? You won't die. You are thinking that it is charm that is keeping you. Cut off things away. Your thinking is a habit somewhere that is giving you something to keep you, to keep you. It's a lie. Cut it off. Sacrifice them. Remove them. Let them go. So that your faith can be in Christ alone. This is what the Lord is calling you to do for this year you have entered into. This is what you have to do for this year. A, 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 a higher call has come to you for a higher life, higher spirituality. The life that is end through sacrifice. That's what I'm saying. That's what the word of God is saying. The, the life of sacrifice. Holiness of our life is only possible if you know this life of sacrifice. In the book of Luke chapter 14, verse 25 to 29 the bible tells us luke 14 verse 25 to 29 and there went great multitudes with him and he turned and said unto them if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters yea his own life also he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Yes, that's what the Lord is saying. You must bear your cross. That is sacrifice. Otherwise, you cannot make it. Father loves you so much but doesn't love God. Mother loves you so much but doesn't allow you for God. Your wife loves you so much but doesn't allow you for God. Your husband loves you so much but doesn't allow you for God. You must cut off whoever that does not want you for God. Sacrifice them. Paul said, I count them but dung that I may win Christ. I'm saying super Christianity is the life you should have this year. Yeah. Christianity with flying colors. And that is by, by the way of sacrifice. It's costly. Costly sacrifice. He that will come to me should count the cost. It's costly. It's costly to come to me. Costly. A, a, a rich man came to Jesus and said, Master, what shall I do that I might have eternal life? Jesus said, have you had the commandment? Have you read them? Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not cover your neighbor's wife, thou shalt not cover your neighbor's property. He said, I've kept those things all from my youth. Ah, but then, why is godliness not showing up in your life? You need sacrifice. Carry all these riches you have and sell them. Give the money to the poor. Sacrifice. They come and follow me. You will have what you are looking for. More than that. The man was not ready to sacrifice. I pray that man will not be you. I say that man will not be you. God says I have a better life for you. 
I have a better name for you. I want to keep a better record for you. I want to give you, bring you into a better kingdom. Sacrifice those things and come and follow me. It was too costly for the man. But that's the costly sacrifice you need to go to heaven. That's a costly sacrifice. It's taking your heart. It's taking everything about you. It's making you to back God. It's taking prayer out of your life. It's taking fellowship out of your life. Your business is taking, you're making money, yes, but it's taking God out of your life. Sacrifice. You want to be a Christian? The way of sacrifice. It costs you, yes, costly sacrifice. For Jesus did that for the salvation of humanity. You must do so for your salvation too. Costly sacrifice. Yes. You need to do that. For your own salvation. For your righteousness. For your holiness. The Bible tells us in the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 8. Verse 13, 1 Corinthians, chapter 8, verse 13, it says, Wherefore, if meat make my brother to offend, I will eat no flesh while the world standeth. Standeth. Lest I make my brother to offend. Can you see? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. I am eating a kind of flesh. Food. I mean meat. And my brother is always having problems. Because he feels, he's, he's offended. Because he's speaking this, he said, there are people that are so critical in judgment. Why are you drinking that wine? I said, no, it is non alcoholic No, 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 it is wine. No, no, I don't agree with you. No, no, no. Then Paul said, I will stop drinking that wine as long as the world lives. However sweet and nice the wine is to me, I will stop it because it's causing my brother to stumble. Is causing my brother to stumble. This is the life of holiness. Which means you sacrifice that wine. You sacrifice your pleasure. Even necessary food. Because of the righteousness of another person. There are people who cut, cut off. The, in fact, they sacrifice their, their, their breakfast. Money I would have used for breakfast. I want to send it for mission. To support the missionary work. So I will not be eating breakfast all through my all through the year. The money meant for it shall go for mission. Sacrifice. It's costly. It's costly. Be ready for this in order to bring people to Jesus this year. Be ready for this. That which will cost you something, let it cost you. Be ready. A life of sacrifice. Maybe they are going for a program somewhere. And you must have to release your car to go for that program. What will you be doing? I will be trekking. I will be climbing on motorcycle. Or I will be taking a taxi. All this while my car is walking in evangelism field. That is sacrifice. That is Christianity. That is what God sees and honors a person. That is what God sees and promotes a person. That is what God sees and rewards a person. Make up your mind. This very year the Lord has brought you in, you will do sacrifice. A year of costly sacrifice. That is it. A year of costly sacrifice. Now, Paul said something about the Christian service and soul winning. Sacrifice. In Romans chapter 9, verse 1 and 2. Romans chapter 9, verse 1 
and verse 2 he said I say the truth in Christ I lie not my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart in 5 verse 3 for I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren my kinsmen according to the flesh he I, I let me die and go to hell so that these people will go to heaven I I prefer it like that if if, if my dying and going to hell will help these people I will want to die wonderful that's what a costly statement it means I am ready to sacrifice anything required for the salvation of humanity. I told a story of a sister, or a, a Christian lady, that had a younger brother that was a smoker, a drug addict, and everything called uselessness. He gave himself to uselessness and rejected Jesus. The sister preached to him, he said, no, he, he, he will he even be listening to her. He will smoke and pour the, the smoke upon the, upon the sister. Then, whatever happened, in this spirit of sacrifice, the sister came before me in the church, before the congregation in the church, and said, brethren, I've made up my mind not to eat or drink until my brother is converted. If my brother will refuse to be converted, I have chosen to die because of him. And that is how he began. Weeks until she was drying away. She came to church and said, Brethren, this, I don't have much strength again. Very soon I will be saying bye bye. As much as my brother has refused to be converted, I will not eat or drink. The people say, why are you doing that? Why must you die because of your brother? Jesus died because of us for humanity. So, as this proceeded, mighty conviction fell upon the, the man. He jumped up one day and said, I surrender. I give my life to Jesus. I surrender. I surrender. And became soundly converted because of sacrifice. Because of sacrifice. How many of you will sacrifice some money from my salary? I will be buying books and spreading them. I will be buying messages and spreading them. I will be doing this for, for the salvation of humanity. Or I will be doing this for the church of Christ. I will be doing this for missionaries. I will be doing this for, for, for the name of the Lord. I will sacrifice this every year. I will be making this sacrifice. This is the precious life best life this year shall be the best year for your life i say it shall be the best year for your life year of costly sacrifice yes something to be done for your husband something to be done for your wife something to be done for your children something to be done for your neighbor something to be done for your relations something costly to your life costly to your life year of sacrifice what is there reward in costly sacrifice too much i say it's the shortcut to greatness shortcut to promotion shortcut to attainment shortcut to spiritual destination that god has set for you shortcut is the is the way of sacrifice Look at it, the reward God gave for Christ on sacrifice. As a man, the reward Jesus received in Philippians chapter 2. I read verse 9 to verse 11. Because of that sacrifice, the Bible tells us the reward Jesus received from the Father. Wherefore, God also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Give a clap offering to Jesus. He got it by sacrifice. 
he got the highest position as a man highest position in the universe by way of sacrifice by way of sacrifice he pleased god he moved god he challenged god and god exalted his name above any man that is that ever come to the earth every name that is named in the world because jesus came as a man now his greatness is the greatness as a man superior to every man created as god he is greater than all he came down to be man he became greater than all men greater in all universe from the time the world started by way of sacrifice the lord is calling you come i want to make you great come i want to open the door for you come i want to end up with all this shameful lie by way of sacrifice in the bible in the book of isaiah chapter 53 what did the lord do for jesus because of this sacrifice that he is calling you to isaiah chapter 53 i want to read verse 8 he was taken from prison and from judgment and who shall declare his generation for he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people was he stricken and he met his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death because he had done no violence neither was any deceit in his mouth yet it pleased the lord to bruise him he had put him to grief when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin he shall see his seed he shall prolong his days and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquity. Therefore, I will divide him a portion with the, with the great and shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he had put out his soul unto death and he was numbered with the transgressors. And he bear the, the sin of many and made intercession for, his, for the transgressors. What does, God, what does it mean here? Because of the sacrifice of Jesus, the Lord is saying, yes, God allowed him to be bruised. God allowed him to be chastised. God allowed him to suffer what you are suffering. It is the will of God, my brother, because suffering is part of it is part of it is a way to promote you it's a shortcut to it it is a shortcut to it it is a shortcut to it somebody said when you put potatoes in a, uh, in a van you want the bigger ones to come up to the top move on rough road as you're driving on rough road and they're shaking the bigger ones will be coming to the top the bigger one the smaller ones will be going under the bigger ones will be coming to the top so you can now see you can easily pick the bigger one if you suffer you will be blessed if you suffer you will be blessed if you suffer you will be blessed the way of greatness is the way of suffering the shortcut to it therefore it's a way of sacrifice make up your mind i will sacrifice costly sacrifice this year i we shall see at the end we shall shake hands together at the end. I say we shall shake hands together at the end. Glory to our God. So that's what the Bible tells us here. That I will divide him, the, the spoil, with the strong. If he didn't go on that way of sacrifice, how would he have gotten me? How would he have gotten you? How would he have gotten all these great Christians? The ones that have gone to meet him already. And the ones that are coming up now. That are now. And the ones that will follow before he comes. How would he? he now, he sees us with a smile. It's like a woman. When she, was to give, she is to give birth to a child, she cries. She cries. The pain is so much. She's rolling left. She's rolling right. Turning left. Turning right. Right. Crying until the child comes out. What a joy. Something is coming out. I say something is coming out. If the Lord invites you to this sacrificial life, you will give birth to something. Something that will give you joy. Something that will give you satisfaction in life. Jesus, has, Jesus sees us now with delight. Why? Suffering. Sacrifice. He went in for costly sacrifice. 
Again, the word of costly sacrifice. Yes, Abraham offered Isaac in Genesis chapter 20. 20 Genesis chapter 22. Genesis chapter 22. Abraham, the Lord told him, go and sacrifice Isaac. And the man was willing. But it's your only son. And now God said, I should sacrifice him. God said, I should sacrifice him. I am going for that. Verse, verse 10 to verse 18. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the Lord, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son from me. Costly sacrifice. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a ticket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the in the state of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. As it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, said the Lord. For because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing, I will bless thee. And in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven. And as the sun which is upon the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Because thou hast obeyed my voice. Because thou hast done this. Because thou hast obeyed my voice. Because thou hast done this. Because thou hast obeyed my voice. Let the Lord invite you to that costly sacrifice. In Jesus' name. Make sure the Lord is leading you. Don't quickly go now and use emotion. I, I, I give up this house. I give up this car. I give up. No. The Lord has much to tell you. Sacrifice in a relevant way. Jesus' sacrifice was relevant. Relevant for human salvation. So, let the Lord tell you how to do it. Abraham's sacrifice was, by, was because the Lord said so. The voice of the Lord came for it. Let the Lord direct you properly how to do this sacrifice. And what he said unto you, do it you will find yourself great. So, you see, Abraham, what do we say of Solomon? In Second Chronicles chapter 1, verse 6 to verse 12, I'm talking about the reward of costly sacrifice. Second Chronicles chapter 1, verse 6 to verse 12, the Bible says, And Solomon went up thither to the brazen altar before the Lord which was at the tabernacle of the congregation and offered a thousand burnt offerings upon it. A thousand. Just imagine if they bring one thousand cows here the whole of this place everywhere shall be filled. Cows. Are you going to talk about the cost? Costly sacrifice. He killed all of them and Burnt them as a sweet smelling savour unto God according to the sacrifice of the Old Testament. One thousand. One thousand cows. Eh? Costly sacrifice. Is there reward? See what happened. The next sentence. Verse 7. In that night, God that is moved with sacrifice. God that is moved with costly sacrifice. God that will not allow you to go like that when a good work is done by you. 
For God is not unrighteous to forget the labor of love which you have labored before him. And do labor, costly sacrifice. He is not unrighteous. He will come and visit you. In that night did God appear unto Solomon and said unto him, Ask what I shall give thee. I'm moved by your sacrifice. I'm moved. Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said unto God, Thou hast shot great mercy unto David my father, and hast made me to reign in his stead. Now, O Lord God, let thy promise unto David my father be established. For thou hast made me king over a people like the dust of the earth in multitude. Give me now, therefore, give me now wisdom and knowledge, that I may know, that I may go out and come in before these people. For who can judge this thy people that is so great? And God said to Solomon, Because this was in thine heart, and thou hast not asked riches, wealth, or honor, or the life of thine enemies, Neither yet has asked long life, but has asked wisdom and knowledge for thyself, that, that thou mayest judge my people over whom I have made thee king. Wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee. And I will give thee riches and wealth and honor, such as none of the kings have had, have had that have been before thee, neither shall there any after they have the like costly sacrifice you see the reward you see how why are you tightening your hand to give why are you unmoved to help humanity to help somebody why are you untouched when the church is seeking help as though you have nothing as though you have no land to sell you have no many houses to sell you have no money to support. Why are you like that? That's where all these things will finish. Give God costly sacrifice and see how he will open the doors for your life. Doors. Doors. The costly sacrifice of Jesus brought humanity all over the world from every tongue, from every kindred, from every nation. You do something. And let the Lord multiply, yes, your blessing around the world by your sacrifice. The blessing of sacrifice. This year is the year of costly sacrifice. Everybody say costly sacrifice. Say it seven times. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four, number five, number six, number seven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Receive the spirit of costly sacrifice. Receive the Holy Ghost to make you go and, co and do something for God. Release yourself for God so that your Christianity should blossom. The Lord will pour fertilizer upon you. Your Christianity will open up rain will fall upon your life rain will fall upon your life yes sacrifice the flesh to promote the spiritual in your life so to the spirit and reap to the and reap in the spirit yes crucify the flesh and let the spirit be alive always refuse all your your personal drive i want to be the greatest I want to be the I want to be the one I want to be the one to take it I want to be the one to do it nobody should come around me nobody should no 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 kill that flesh and say I give my place to another I give my place to another oh god do you have that place oh no, let him go ahead let him go ahead John said he must increase and I must decrease so have that spirit because the greatest in the kingdom is the least among the people the greatest is the least come down the lord will take you up that is it sacrifice the the worldly the worldly to promote the heavenly the things that are in the earth just earthly 
Learn to sacrifice so that you can have the heavenly. Learn to sacrifice what the things that are worldly to make you holy. Sacrifice them. All those dressing, the, 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 the Jezebelic dressing, you, you think they make you beautiful. No, they don't. The attachment, the earrings, the trousers you wear as a woman, and all, they don't make you beautiful. The painting. Clear them off and so that the glory of the Lord will take over. The glory of the Lord will take over. But you said, I bought them with much money. You bought what? Jewelry. The gold with much money. Now the Lord equates them to minstrel's cloth. That earrings, the, the gold, all these things, they are like minstrel's cloth. Do you now, having defiled, defiled them, your, that piece of cloth with blood, will you say, I will keep it? Because the cloth is very costly. Is that what you are going to do? Or I will give it to somebody defiled with blood. Because it's very costly? Throw it away. Destroy it. Bury it. That's it. It's costly. Much money. Yes. The Lord will give you much more than that. Costly sacrifice. Sacrifice in wealth. Give them out for, for the work of God. Distribute them to people. The Lord will replace spiritual wealth in your life. Spiritual wealth in your life. Always let God be first and you last. Then you shall have a blessed life in the year 2023. Jesus said, remember my suffering. Remember my sacrifice. Remember my death. That is the key of life that will shoot you forward. Go. Throughout this year, remember the death of Christ. The sacrifice that opened the door to humanity. That lifted his name up to the highest name. That brought him as a man to the highest glory. Go for costly sacrifice. I'm telling you, your history will change. Rise up upon your feet and say, Lord, that's what I'm built for now. Costly sacrifice. Costly sacrifice. I'm going to do it. Whatever you tell me, Lord. In fact, ask God whether there's anything he wants you to sacrifice. Is there anything God wants you to sacrifice? Let him tell you. You are ready. This year, you are beginning this year, a year of sacrifice. Costly one. Your Christianity has been stunted because they have been sponsoring you like a child. If, they don't, if somebody will not give you money, you won't go to church. If somebody will not carry you, you will not go to church. Now, you will go by yourself. However it costs you. However it costs you, you will go by yourself. You will spend the money, your own money. However it costs you, you will spend it for God, for spiritual things. For spiritual things. For spiritual things. For spiritual things. Thank you, Jesus. Do it for your brother. Do it for your sister. Sacrifice. Give and it shall be given unto you. Learn to give. The widow of Zarephath was told make a costly sacrifice you won't die again abundance will come into you go and beg for me that little flower go and beg for me beg for me let me eat then later you will see the miracle you will go and beg for you and your son and you will eat forever until the, the until it begins to rain upon the earth until there is abundance again upon the earth. Thank you, Lord.
Jesus. The voice of the Lord talking to you. So, I want your life to blossom. Go the way of Jesus. Sacrifice. Let it cost you something. Daughter, I want your life to be fresh and progressive. I want you to achieve something in this life. Go the way of Jesus. The way of sacrifice. Costly sacrifice. Jesus name we pray. I know my sheep and my sheep know my own voice. I know my sheep and my sheep know my own voice. I speak and they hear me. I call and they come. I will keep them unto the end. I know my sheep and my sheep know my own voice. I know my sheep and my sheep know my own voice. I speak and they hear me. I call and they come. I will keep them to the end. Jesus knows you. He's talking to people, his own children. Go and sacrifice. Jesus knows you. Worship. Thank you, Lord Divine. Worship. You have spoken to us. May we do it all through this year. And the consequent year. Let this be our principle of living. God knows his ship and his ship know his own voice. God knows his ship and his ship know his own voice. He speaks and they hear him. He calls and they come. He will keep them to the end. Jesus knows you. He will keep you. Now the Lord has spoken to you. Ask for grace to live this life this year. Tell him to help you. He has spoken to you as a sheep. He will hear you. He knows your voice. He knows you. Tell him. Ask him for grace to keep this word, to practice it. Sacrifice. Small, small matters. Little, little things. If the Lord tells you, give it up. Give it up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Worship. This is the basis of the blessed life. The life of sacrifice. him for help Lord help your children Lord teach your children how to live a life of sacrifice
Thank you very much. Worship. Let the Holy Spirit walk this thing out in our lives. Let the power of the Holy Ghost accomplish this in our lives. Lord, let the people change. Let them learn to cut off that thing which is blocking them. Sacrifice it. It's pleasing your body, but sacrifice it. It's against your spiritual progress. It's against your peace. Sacrifice it. Do something for the progress of others. Pain for others for the cause of Jesus the reward is great exaltation promotion greatness worldwide greatness Jesus name we pray this year, my brother, is a sure year for you. Yeah. As long as you have said, I will do this thing God says, I am very sure the blessing will not miss you. Yeah. Because it's the secret of life. God came from heaven and taught mankind the secret of greatness. Sacrifice. Now I am going to pray the Holy Ghost upon you. To lead you through this life. Of sacrifice and reward. Sacrifice and reward. Sacrifice and reward. All through the year 2023. Beyond 2023. Until the Lord your God shall come. Raise up your hands before the Lord. Sacrifice and reward. Sacrifice and reward. Almighty Father, thank you so much for the Holy Ghost that has spoken to your children in this congregation over this new year. Divine on sacrifice and reward. You open our eyes to know the sacrifice of Jesus very costly. And the promotion that came to the man Jesus. Oh Lord divine, I am praying for your children here. Let this understanding, let this mind come upon their lives. Lay understanding come upon their lives in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, the Spirit of God, take over their life right now. Let them learn to sacrifice. Tell them the things they should sacrifice. Tell us the things we should sacrifice. Family, things we should sacrifice in the family. Things we should sacrifice in marriage. Things we should sacrifice in our workplace. Things we should sacrifice in our church. Things we should sacrifice in our, among our relations. Things we should sacrifice in the ministry and all. Father, show us, open our eyes in Jesus' name. Lord divine, you did it for Jesus. Wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name that at the name of Jesus every name should bow of things in heaven, of things on earth, of things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I am asking let your promotion come upon your children. Let your greatness come upon your children. Let your advancement come upon your children. 
let there be a lifting up in their life as they follow you as the sacrifice in jesus name the life of sacrifice is the life of victory the life of sacrifice brought victory over sin because when jesus sacrificed the lamp of god that took away, that took away the sin of the world sin disappeared from those that trusted in him lord divine god i am praying by this life of sacrifice let your children witness the miracle of freedom from sin let them see that iniquities have no power over them let the power of sin be broken in their life in jesus name my god abraham you told him to sacrifice isaac costly sacrifice he was willing oh jesus make your children willing to do whatever you want them to do make your children willing like abraham was willing may we be willing in every aspect of sacrifice that you want us to do in jesus name Abraham went and did the sacrifice. He laid Isaac on the wood. He took a knife to chew Isaac and he said, No, stop. And then you gave him a ram. Lord divine, I am praying. Your children will do all that is your will. That which is not your will should they not do. Let not the devil lead them to do something because of guilt. Let not the devil come and give his own message we cancel demonic inspiration we cancel demonic voice in jesus name oh lord see what you did to abraham you said for this very thing for this very thing some of your children have done sacrifice already this year and for that thing for that sacrifice they have done this year that we are passing through they did it last year now they're going to this year open the door let the reward come upon them let the reward come upon them let the reward come upon them in jesus name my god solomon gave a one thousand cows for a bond offering before god my lord teach those who have to give bountifully to the glory of your name yeah. so that you can face another direction not money now but wisdom and knowledge yes more wealth yes a great name you will give them so that your children should have great name by the reward of heaven everybody you are receiving something now receive receive i say receive this year is different in your life you are rising up you are rising up you are rising up you are rising up your god shall raise you up god shall lift you up the lord of heaven shall promote your life in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name we pray the message you have just listened to is a production of holiness revival movement worldwide holiness revival movement worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683 four three two three 
You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe.
I believe you. 